Hey, party people. How's it going? Ready to party? I know I'm ready to party. Um, I guess that's how we do things here. We're gonna <laughs> we kind of party, I guess. Uh, hi. Uh, I guess if, if your party is an adventuring party, uh, derp, uh, derp, derp, derp. Um, I'm in a mood. Hey, how's it going, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to uh, the Vaporlock81 channel, where we are playing, quote-unquote, playing around with Tailspire. We are building the classic D&D map, the Keep on the Borderlands, uh, as you can see here. It's pretty much built. <laughs> we just have to furnish the buildings that we've built. And uh, to do that, we have to get in real close and uh, cut away. As you can see, do some cutaways to look at... Uh, the interiors and uh, fill them with tiny, tiny little things, tiny little 3D things. Uh, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna focus today on the guild house, which is if I can get this cutaway to stop cutting away. There we go. The guild house, which is this, and the tavern, which is over here. Let me get it there. The tavern. Uh, pretty much all pretty much all the other buildings are furnished except for. These two tiny little apartments, which are uh, not inhabited, and that is because they are uh, essentially available for adventurers, aka the party, to rent when they come into the keep. To stay in, you know, instead of having to, you know, constantly pay by the night at the tavern, uh, which is fine, but it, the rooms aren't exactly spacious. <laughs> <laughs> neither of the neither are these, but at least it's two floors. Um, anyway, back to uh, the goal for today, or at least the plans for today. We're gonna furnish the guild house and the tavern. So let's do that, and let's turn up the wizard smoke. Maybe, maybe can we turn it up? Yes. <laughs> uh, my new favorite song on Tailspire. Wizard smoke. All right, all right, that's the second floor. First floor, we've already done some set dressing, as you can see, or furnishing. We've we've uh, equipped the tavern hall with uh, a good number of chairs and tables, um, at least to the optimal arrangement, so that so that you can still move around and uh, seat an adequate number of people. Um, I mean, this is a guild house, so. Now that I'm thinking of it, maybe we come down, or let's come down one table. I mean, let's get into build mode first. <laughs> How about that? Then uh, let's 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 nix one table. Move this table over here. See, I are, I already like that better, and because this isn't really a it's not a tavern. They serve food, obviously. They have a kitchen. But this building is really more for the uh, Merchants Guild uh, members, of, you know, who come into town with their wares, who are looking to sell them, uh, and they uh, they just need a place to stay. And if they're a member of the guild, they can stay here uh, as part of their um, membership fee or whatever, their annual uh, fee or whatever. And... Uh, they get, um, you know, reduced prices on food. Um, the room, I think, maybe is comped if, as long as they're up to date on their membership fees and all that fun stuff. Uh, and, yeah, I think aside from that, the the rooms are on one of the upper floors. But then, I mean, there's it's a multi-story. I think it's like three stories tall. Yeah, it's three stories. Um, so I think the first floor... Uh, or the sorry, the second floor is like rooms, like little literal rooms that you would find in like a a tavern. Um, like you could, the guild members who come in, they can stay there. Um, maybe this is more of a communal room where there are uh, multiple bunks. Um, yeah, it looks like this one's gonna be kind of cramped and weird. Um, yeah, like gonna be one, two, three bunks. So six people total can can stay in there. 
Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say most of these are probably going to be communal. Um, I mean, I could move this wall over a little bit. It might not be a bad idea just because this is a cramp. This is kind of cramped. Um, we might do that and we'd have to do it to the floor, but oh no, we wouldn't because we already did. Kind of. Oh, we, we moved it literally over one half space. I'm, th I'm talking about moving it all the way over here to the chimney. Um, yeah. We, oh, wait, we can't. No, we can't. That's fine. We don't, we don't have to change the, this floor. Um, cause this room is already pretty tiny. Yeah, it is. All right. So, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. Cause why not get rid of that? Move this over here. Copy this, or we can actually put a window there now if we really wanted to, uh, which we might. Um, move this over. Now it's just a cramped hallway. I don't feel as bad about that. <laughs> cramped hallway, eh, it's a hallway. It's fine. Move that there. Whoa. That. There. Being very persnickety. Uh, oh, we lose this window, but that's fine, I think. We're gonna, we're gonna, oops. Hold on, let me set it there for now. <laughs> now I'll grab that one and put it there, and then grab that and put it there. And we can also put a window here if we want. Wonderful. There, and this one there. And then move these pillars into the wall. Excellent. Hey, QED. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. We're building stuff. We're uh, working on the guild house and uh, we are uh, furnishing it. Just trying to get it, uh, get this one finished. This is a big project today. <laughs> Two big projects because we have, uh, we have the guild house and the tavern, both very large structures with multiple floors. So that should be fun. Let's see. Let's go down here. So yeah, the first floor we've pretty much done. Um, I kind of want to add some more bookshelves, so let's do that. Definitely. Into props. Prop schmops. There we go. Alright. Bookshelves are right here. Yeah, just throw a couple more there, and I guess wherever we can fit them in. Because it's a guild house, they they have some sort of yeah, some form of like information sharing kind of thing. Like I don't know, it's a place where people can just come and relax. So bookshelves might be yeah, I'd say they'd be present and a, and a decent quantity. Cool. All right. So I mean, aside from that, I think we're pretty good. Let me throw. a basket of apples in here just because I like to do that. Where's the basket of apples? Basket of apples. I can never find it though. Apple basket. Are you up here? Yeah, there it is. Right toward the beginning. Alright. Uh that's pretty good. The this wall looks pretty bare, but meh, whatever. Um we could I guess we could could make a uh oh wait can we oh no 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 we can't i was gonna see if we could use like a fancy tile like this over here but uh no this this would have to be over in this space for that to work and uh that ain't gonna work so that's it we can probably try and throw some stuff on this wall but eh, i don't really want to there's not much we can really put on the wall either so meh i think it's done i think the, the, this floor is pretty much donezo uh oh i know one thing we can do we can throw a bearskin rug right here make it look real snazzy real snazzy there we go bearskin rug um yeah i think that's that's about it. Maybe we rotate it like 
like that. There we go. Yeah, cool. All right. Um, let's do the basement, uh, the cellar. Where's the cellar? Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, again, we did a little bit here. Um, a little bit of set dressing. This one's actually going to be pretty easy. Uh, we did the uh, secret, quote unquote, secret meeting room in the guild house. Um, does that secret meeting room have a secret door? That's a good question. That is a very good question. I would say so. I would say there's probably one like here, maybe. Um, which we can facilitate. Um, it's really the only direction, because if we go this way, you run into the, the, the temple cellar, or the chapel cellar, which you don't really want to do. Um... Yeah, so yeah, I'd say over here somewhere. But we'll figure that out in a second. Um, I will actually mark it, because we can use the tapestry. Where are you? There it is. Or wall rug, whatever. It's a tapestry. <laughs> Call it what you want. It's a tapestry. There we go. And uh, maybe we put a couple more around just so it's not as obvious where the secret door is. <laughs> uh, oh, I guess we... Well, I'll do one here. Why not? Yeah, one right there. And... Whoops, we lost it. I'll do one right here, too. Cool. All right, um, that's the secret guild house. Um, oh, one thing I, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's go down half a step. And, or actually a full step. There we go. Grabbing. So we're gonna make a, um, basically a rack of, uh, barrel kegs for them to have. Um, so let's go into Harbor, grab this, where is it? That guy. And if we just hold down shift so that we have clipping, we go right there. So there's our little table or a rack on which we can set our stacked kegs. So there, they have their own private little reserve of, uh, of kegs down there for drinking and shenanigans and such. Uh, cool. I would say probably... Oh, we can also move these. One of these over here. Uh, make sure I'm at the right level. Yep, okay. Uh, so copy that here, and how about there, too? Sure. A couple bookshelves. Or actually, let's use the uh, laboratory bookshelves, just because they look more interesting. Uh, we'll use the one... Well, what's this one? Yeah, that works. Drop a couple of those. Cool. And uh, how about a thing of firewood? If I can find it. There it is, log pile. Boom. And one over here. Cool. Cool. Um, something, something, uh, random over in this corner. How about, uh, what do we got? What do we got? Hmm. <laughs> we have the, uh, pressure plate. No, I don't want that. <laughs> pressure plate trap. Um, how about a weapon rack? How about if we just throw a weapon rack back there? It's kind of out of the way, but you know, it's there. They might need uh they might need weapons for something. Sure. I'd say that's 
pretty good. I don't want to throw too much in here and make it super cluttered. Um, could do a torture table. How about a torture table just in the middle of the... No. Let's see. What else do we have here? Um, oh, well. Hmm. Guess we could do a side table. It's kind of here. Ugh. I hate, uh... I hate how that's not it's not a half a, half a space. Oh well. Uh maybe we don't do a side table there. <laughs> All right. So I think that the the hidden room's fine there. Let's uh let's see if we can do the the secret door stuff. Uh so from what I've discovered in doing this, you have to have your little white circle marker kind of in the center of what you want to select to select the um, invisible or uh, hide hiding your yeah. <laughs> what is it hide volume there it is so to create a, a hide volume go into uh, DM view which is just the tab button and then you edit hide volumes create hide volume and we are going to try and so click and drag and select that. Hey, that worked. So yeah, wow. All right, I think I got the hang of it now. <laughs> so if you come out of uh, DM view, you'll see that uh, those are uh, redded out, meaning that they're uh, invisible to the players. Um, so if you go into uh, back into uh, DM mode and go to edit hide volumes and right click on this selection outline. It'll give you the option to either delete, remove that uh, invisibility thing that we just added or to toggle it as visible. So you can just, there, now it's visible. Now the players can see it and it looks like a normal thing. So that's, that's perfect. Um, Again, this only works if your players are in, uh, only have player permission because um, over on Z's channel, where uh, I play sometimes, we all have GM permission just because, just so we can help out building stuff. So <laughs> the hide volumes don't really work that well because we'll see. Um, actually, maybe we won't because if we're just, wa do, unless he has something hidden, he won't be able to actually hide anything there this would be fine because it's visible until he hides it and then it looks like then it has the red outline for us but if he if he were to try to hide something from us while we have gm permissions it would just look like a red outline thing and we'd be like hey what's that <laughs> it's not as effective um so yeah uh it's a i'm getting the hang of <laughs> of doing that uh first couple, couple times i tried it, it it did not go well um, so this, I'm going to say, probably accesses the sewer system, um, much in the same way, oh wait, this is perfect, wait, is that like right up there? It is. Um, so there is a sewer, <laughs> a sewer grate right there, there's also one way over there, um, and there's one over here, yeah, right here, hmm. So there's some potential there. We can, we can, whoa, why am I? Oh, right, that's the first floor. <laughs> oh, I was looking at the, oh, okay. I thought this was the blacksmith. It's, oh, it is the blacksmith, except that, yeah, I know, okay, now I know. All right, yeah, this was throwing me off. <laughs> I was like, why does he have stairs leading downstairs to the warehouse? He doesn't, it's just that. All right, um, <laughs> Sorry, I'm uh, I'm rambling about stuff. So for now, I guess we'll just leave it the way it is um, and decide later where it leads exactly. But I do want to throw down some sort of um, structure on the other side just to kind of tie it into the sewer system, which is basically just going to be, uh, I guess it has to be something slightly more substantial than that. Probably, oh, those are stairs. Um, they have that without stairs. Yes, 
this. All right, so if we put this on either side. Did I, oh, no, it's off center. <laughs> Wrong spot. There we go. All right, and then we're going to throw down some um, flooring. Uh, sewer floor. Yeah, we'll, we'll use this, the half space, so that it's down below uh, this these full space floor tiles that I used for the uh, guild house uh, cellar floor. Um, and make sure that this is not peeking up out of anything. Nope, it's under the street, so that's fine. Um, yeah. We might want to throw some more... Uh, along the ceiling of this thing, maybe. Hmm. Ooh, wait a minute. We can make this a little bit more, a little fancier. Let's scooch this out slightly. And what do we add in? Nope, that's not what I'm looking for. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for, that guy. So we move that in there. And that like that. There, now, it actually looks like a terminus uh, for where the sewer ends. I lost my cursor. There it is. Um, yeah, I like that. Let's see. This is only... Uh, yep, all right. So let's throw one of those down there. And I think... Yeah, we'll do the same up here. We'll do some, uh, I'm not sure how well that'll work, but there we go. Yeah, that's fine. Just some added, uh, added layers there. All right, so if we go into GM mode and edit hide volumes, toggle visibility, now, well, it's invisible to <laughs> to the players. So now they'll just you know, move right through the to the sewer right there. Cool. All right. Oh, excuse me. It's a lazy Tuesday. I am low energy today. <laughs> Whew. Uh, yeah, it's been... It was a... I don't know. I don't know what was going on this weekend. I was just exhausted for no good reason. Um, Let's see. What else can I throw down here to make it interesting? How about one of those and one of the... Oh, no, those... Well, nah, that's fine. I think this is enough for now. Yeah, that's a, that's enough for now. We'll uh, we'll revisit that when we when we start doing all the weird stuff that we're planning on doing for the sewers, and uh, it might actually go down beyond that point. Actually, honestly, and in fact, um, we might just use. The one by oh, that's not the no, uh, one by one. This guy, oh, that's the corner. We don't want the corner. This guy, there it is. Yeah, there. Just do that because we might turn left or right, and uh, I kind of want the the option to do that before going out too far this way. Um, cool. All right, so back to the easy stuff. The the stuff that requires very little decision or foresight uh, on our part, which is just furnishing the warehouse. Super simple. All right, so luckily here we can also do what we did in the actual warehouse, um, which was make shelving. Let's see, where's the harbor? Harbor, there we go. So this one seems to be the best... Uh, so we'll put one there and one there. And, well, let's just do this whole corner 
We can use that. Kind of. Sure. That works. Um, and how about, how about one ramp here just to go up so that we can put more stuff up on that shelf and maybe that shelf. Um, mm, yeah, I guess that's fine. Uh, and we also want to throw down some more legs. <laughs> we can just use harbor leg to, uh, whoops. There we go. Put, put more legs on these shelves. Oh, oh, I keep clicking the top, uh, the slider. That's why. I was like, why isn't that not placing? And we can just put one here. And how about one? Here. Oh, forgot about this guy. Hold on. Grab, grab the leg, leg, leg. There we go. Uh, all right. So throw one there and one there, and I think that's it for the shelving. Yeah, that's, that should be that should be fine. So we go into props. Throw some barrels down. Uh, oh, actually, this is a tavern. Oh, no, sorry. This is the guild house, where it said specifically they do not serve any alcohol. Uh-huh. So it wouldn't be barrels. So I would say the secret little meeting room is the only place where you can get an actual drink. <laughs> so we need uh, just crates and stuff, which is fine. Let's, let's do it. Uh, we'll throw one of these... So we can throw a couple of these up here. We'll throw two of these up here. Um, and some of these crates underneath. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, on the side here, we'll use our favorite, most, the most popular uh, tile with us, anyway, which is this guy, which we always seem to find a use for. Uh, throw a couple there. Oop, there we go. And let's see. We'll throw a big one right here. Uh, another. Uh, well, let's see. Let's do one of the. Yeah, this guy. Let's open one. Throw that right there. And uh, this guy. And one of these. And I guess just more of these. Here, let's use, yeah, let's use one of these. A couple of these, maybe. And one of the, where's that open one? There it is, dark crate open. Throw that right there. Or even better, just like that. Perfect. And uh, how about another one of these? Just like here. And... One of these right here. Cool. Um, and let's do... Uh, how about another one of these right here? Excuse me. Uh, with something on top of it. Hmm, like this, that work? Yeah, cool, that works. Um, we can throw something on top of this guy. Let's do this good old multiple crates there. And uh, we can do more here as long as we leave this open. Uh, we can even do like, or you just do a path around and just put something here. I like that better. Um, hmm, so they don't have barrels of ale or anything, but I, they probably have water, uh, or, you know, non-alcoholic cider, so maybe some of those, uh, oh yeah, this was going to be a bedroom, that's right, 
or like a like a what do you call it safe house panic room safe house kind of thing yeah all right um so let's yeah i guess we'll do some barrels um so there and there that's fine and also i'll do one here and yeah we'll do two of these two of these another one of those one of those right there all right cool i like it um yeah we can actually fill up a little bit more but i don't want to i don't want to stack it too full um yeah, let's throw one of those sure and uh how about another one of these or we can stack it yeah stack it right like that there we go i'd say that's adequate that works all right uh so oh that's right i wanted this to not be uh a known thing so we do have we can uh stack some stuff here because this is uh uh, not a uh, common knowledge area of the guild house. So they probably want to stack their stuff floor to ceiling right here. Uh, all right, so let's see. Let's get a... Just a, one of the dark crates, one of these guys. Throw it right here. Where's the one with the banding? That's the one. And... Where is, where is, oh, that one. Yeah, sure. And uh, we can just say, we can just use regular uh, hide, oh, can we hide these? No, uh, we can just delete delete these if we need to and um it's just basically it's a secret door we can i guess hide them um yeah i mean we can make it another hide volume that's probably the, the quickest and easiest way to do it why not let's do it all right, so we want the circle again, or our little target, to be somewhat center in the center of what we're aiming to uh, select with this hide volume tool. And then we whoop, uh, create new hide volume, select the area, and then down, and boom. Yeah, all right. I don't know why it uh, decides to work like that, but... Uh, Whatever. <laughs> it seems weird. Uh, so we'll just toggle toggle visibility, keep it visible for now. But uh, yeah, when we need to hide it, we just go in here and toggle visibility. And now it's hidden. The players won't see it, but DMs will see the red, the red ghost, so to speak. Uh, we did do another hide volume over here, didn't we? Yes, this, this one. I saw it kind of sneaking... Yeah, there it is. Uh, so that's another secret door. In the warehouse. And we'll figure out where that, figure out figure out where that goes later, once we're doing the dungeon and the sewers and all that. All that fun stuff. Alright, so um oh, let's <laughs> Toggle visibility, back to visible, thank you. All right. And I guess we'll just put another barrel here and probably, uh, oh, let's do, I know, let's do a couple of the laboratory bookshelves. Alchemy shelf. Uh, eh, we'll do it. Yeah, this one's fine. We'll do one of each. How about one of each? Yeah, there we go. All right. So now it looks even less uh, conspicuous if you're, you know, level with <laughs> everything else. Of course, with our bird's eye view, we can tell easily that it's a secret room. Um, so, yeah. 
this door this door is locked at, at all times and though only those with the key are able to open it um which leads into the secret guild meeting room uh the merchants guild um actually as a merchants guild wouldn't they have a little shrine to Joaquin, I think. Joaquin Phoenix? No. Uh, close, but no. Joaquin <laughs> is uh, the goddess of uh, commerce and wealth and all that fun stuff in the Forgotten Realms. Um, let's get rid of that and let's throw down... Hmm, how do we want to do this? Can we do this? Hmm... Uh, I guess, uh, let's see. Oh, oh yeah. They added, uh, um, some stuff to their winter di uh, tile set. They added glowing crystals, uh, Tailspire did, which are really neat. Um, doesn't help us in our current situation, <laughs> but they are neat. They have very cool uh, lighting effects. Um, they got a green, green one. Ooh, hee hee. Yeah, that's it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, they don't help us for our current thing, but they are neat. <laughs> and then there's the this uh, whoa, glowing crystal owl chest, which opens. What's in there? Uh, <laughs> oops. Yeah, it's cool stuff. They they keep adding stuff. Some really cool stuff. Where? I'm trying to think. Uh, oh, lighting. I think that would help if I go to the right. <laughs> go to the right tile set. Um, so like a shrine to Joaquin. Uh, can we safely get these little candelabras in here? Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, no, those those phase into the well. I don't know. They phase. They kind of phase into the wall too much. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we can do floor torches. Those stick out a fa uh, further. Yeah, those are a little more. Yeah. Oh, we also just have to do flat out uh, lighting in this room anyway. So we <laughs> do a couple floor torches. I completely forgot. Um, I mean, we have those the cast iron stoves, but those only cast so much light. Uh, let's do a lantern here. Uh, yeah, there we go. And. Ah, uh, gosh, I don't know. Well, I guess between that and the lantern, it's okay. I think that's adequate. You got the two stoves, you got a lantern, you got the floor torches. Yeah, you're fine. Um, yeah, I, I guess there's no, there's not going to be really a, uh, a shrine or anything. So, let's just put this back. <laughs> there we go. All right. So, for the secret room, uh, we're going to do, I guess we there wouldn't be any kind of lighting in this, in this little hallway at all, or else it would give away the location. So, let's see. This is actually a decent sized room, um, which might have a secret door that links up with the warehouse's secret door. Huh? Yeah. I think we'll do that. Or, or maybe it's just here and it's more straight, more of a straight shot. Um, yeah. Cool. All right, so we need to furnish this with some a couple beds. Um, Yeah, a couple beds and some other random stuff. Uh, there are no wall sconces. There is one. Um, there's let's see. There's one in the dungeon tile set, but 
it's part of this whole thing. <laughs> so it's real clunky. Um, and you can use clipping to kind of put it in. Um, but yeah, I mean, we can try here. Let me, let's do this. If we bring this, our grid down below the level of the floor and then take this and then flip it and use clipping to drop it into place. It kind of works, <laughs> but, uh, ooh. yeah, it, uh, it just kind of looks kind of, uh. <laughs> it looks very out of place. Yeah, I just wish I wish they had just like a, the wall scones by itself. That would be very cool. But they don't have that yet. So our best choice is just use the, the floor torch. All right, and here we're going to do a couple of lanterns. Let's see, throw one here and here. Uh, make, their, make sure they're level. Yep. Cool. Um, I would say maybe put a bed over here and a bed here. And then the rest is all just free space to do stuff. Or do we want to do... Do we want to do bunks? Uh, it's in... Tales by... Uh, it's in beta right now. Yeah. Yeah, the placement is 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 a bit iffy. Um, a lot of the tokens and tiles feel like they should be they should take up less space than they do. Um, and you can get around some of that with clipping, um, which is you just you can use you hold down shift when you place something while you have clipping on, and you can merge tiles or overlap them somewhat somewhat well, but. Uh, yeah, some of the stuff, uh, as I've said in the past, like, uh, I mean, there's one that's really, like, these plates, like, are not, that one's a little big, like, this one, this should be, like, a quarter of that tile size, but it's smack dab in the middle, when it should really just be, like, this corner of the tile. <laughs> McCabe, 554, uh, free placement of props coming, yes, which will allow you to place props anywhere, oh, nice, that's awesome, that's awesome to know, thank you for the inside baseball. <laughs> yeah i i figure yeah they they it does seem like the, there's a lot of, a lot of that stuff in the works so that's good to know that it's uh it is a it, it is happening oh cool <laughs> sweet uh i think i have links available uh enabled in there um you should be able to post the link, I think. If not, sorry. <laughs> Let me see here. Let's do blue beds. Actually, let's just do the the. Uh, let's just do the cots. Let's use these uh, fancy cots. We'll use the nice one, <laughs> the one that looks like it's somewhat warm. Uh, this guy. Um, yeah, there we go. Throw that one there, and that one there, and since we did that, we can use the half space uh, to put down foot lockers. There we go. There and there. And cool. There we go. There's some uh, bunks and some foot lockers. Uh, probably, what else are we going to throw in here? Probably some overlap, contra maybe some contraband. Uh-oh. <laughs> it looks like it, yeah, it didn't, uh, it doesn't look like it posted the link. <laughs> uh, here, let me see. Can I, am I able to? No, there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, man, that sucks. Uh, where, uh, can I go in and adjust it here? Oh, wait, maybe I can... Where's my phone? There it is. Maybe I can go into Stream Manager. Let's see. Boop. And that, and... Uh, huh. Maybe not. I think this is like... Uh, ooh, wait. 
Nope. Nope. It is a it is a much deeper setting. <laughs> yeah, you can you can always send a QED a, a a direct message through through Twitch. That that absolutely can do. That absolutely can happen. Uh, and you can direct message me too. <laughs> It'd be much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you, McCabe. Sorry about the the. the <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm a little, I'm a little uh, nervous about links and stuff, but you know, I, I trust you, so uh, uh, I just wish I could uh, change stuff like that on the fly. But it's a little, <laughs> I kind of have to like go into my uh, my Streamlab settings and stuff. Uh, and I don't think it'll even let me do that while I'm streaming. Um, yeah, no, that's all. <laughs> that's all online stuff <laughs> yeah all right but thank you thank you so much i'm gonna throw a bare rug in here just because uh what else are we gonna throw in here yeah uh overthrow overflow contraband stuff um hmm what would that maybe some oh i know some of these bigger longer crates uh, this one, uh, a couple of these, it's kind of stacked here. Maybe, maybe some of these smaller ones, maybe a barrel, uh, maybe not a barrel. <laughs> There's not enough room really for a barrel. Um, one of the, one of the smaller ones. There we go. This guy, throw that there. Yeah. Maybe there's just some random contraband. Nice. Awesome. Thank you, McCabe. That is much appreciated. Uh, let's see. I think that's good. I mean, this is pretty bare bones. Um, and it's supposed to be, right? Like, <laughs> it's just where, where you, you can lay low uh, and not have to worry. Uh, oh, I know one thing we can put in here. We can put in the, the wash, wash table. Uh, let's see. Where is the side table? There it is. Go right there, and then on top of it, we're gonna put. No, nope, don't open. I don't know. We're gonna put. Uh, where is it? Plate or desert plate? Either one of these is fine. Desert plate works, and then a pitcher. Where is the pitcher? There it is. Pitcher. Do, do, do using clipping. There you go. There is your wash basin. <laughs> it looks like there's really dirty water in there. But it's just supposed to be regular water. <laughs> uh, cool. All right. I think that's cool. Maybe, maybe a bookshelf. We yeah, there's room for a bookshelf. Um, let me rotate the bear rug. There we go. And all right. Yeah. Thanks, McCabe. Let's see. We'll throw one bookshelf in right there. There. There we go. Boom. Boom. Just something to read while you're waiting or hiding or whatever. <laughs> uh, and how about... Um, what do we want to... Do we want to put another tapestry like up here? I think so. Let's see. And then go into whoa, GM site. Bam. Edit the hide volumes and we're gonna get everything. Nope. <laughs> uh, how about we? There we go. Do that and come out like that, and then go down. Yeah, there we go. Ugh. <laughs> that is not at all where I thought it was in relation to the objects, but hey, as long as it worked. Um, cool. So now that's hidden, and uh, that is a secret door that will lead through to uh, the network of tunnels that include uh, this secret door, or wherever this, wherever that leads. Um, yeah, cool. All right. Go ahead and rehide that. 
or make it make it visible. Oop. There we go. Cool. All right. All right, I think the basement of the guild house is good to go. Let us start on the second floor. Or you know what? Let's let's do this tunnel a little bit. Let's uh, let's come out here and uh, see see uh, how we can link these up at least. So if we go down to sewer. Whoa! 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 There we go. So we want the corner, sewer corner with floor, which is this guy. So that right there, and then another one right there. And the one by one, or actually, I guess we can just do two by two. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, where's the two by two with? Yeah, this one. That's what we want. See, oh, that's too far. That's gonna block it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, do they have an inverse corner? I don't think they do. For the uh, sewer, huh? That's interesting. I hope they end up doing that in the future. Like an inverse corner. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> that, that doesn't really work like that. Alright, so I guess instead we just do... Um, oh, this. Yeah. There we go. That works too. Alright. And so that it leads to that secret door. And we'll take a corner. Pop it there. So as to indicate that it's going to turn off in this direction. Um, let's grab that, flip it. And same with this. Cool. All right. Uh, yeah, it's going to lead, I'd say these two link up and then it probably goes deeper, um, just to get beneath a little bit, a little bit further under the, uh, the, into the, uh, the substructure. Let's see. We want this guy. Drop some of these. Whoa. Cool. All right. All right. Let's uh, throw down some more here. And some there. And they immediately ascend into heaven. Uh, there they are. Our slider is just a little bit uh, high, but there. All right. Cool. Um, that is pretty awesome. So that's going to link up with that. Um, I would say that these actual sewer, oh, <laughs> these actual sewer grates, they, uh, drain down lower than these tunnels, the, than the level of these tunnels, just because otherwise this would flood <laughs> and the, the warehouse would flood and all that fun stuff. So it's very, it's very unlikely it would, it would flood too, um, since it's on a, uh, a rocky, a, a steep, or a butte, however, whichever term you want to use, the, the groundwater is way down below. So, uh, not, there are no real immediate um, risks of, of flooding unless it gets stopped up somehow. Then, then maybe. And that could be a plot point for an adventure. Uh, 
Uh, all right. Well, that's the basement and the first floor. Uh, let's do the second floor or start on it before we have to go to break in a few minutes. But <laughs> we'll uh, we'll start we'll start in. Uh, so this is going to be the floor with the actual uh, rooms where uh, merchants who are passing through can stay. Um, we're gonna we have one big communal room here. So this is just gonna have a bunch of bunks, um, I think. Yeah. Oh, we forgot to move uh, our little buddy here. Let's move that over. There we go. <laughs> I was like, why is that in the middle of the room? <laughs> Uh, cool. All right. Uh, I guess we'll start. Yeah, we'll start here. Why not? Let's see. Where is there's the bunk? Um, I guess we'll do it like, yeah, we'll just do it like that. That works. And then. One here, one here, and one here. And then the rest of the room is going to be like storage and, uh, yeah, storage for their gear and stuff like that. So a bunch of these chests, which I keep forgetting are in my quick bar, and I don't see how I can forget. I use this. this <laughs> This is like the, my most used tile, uh, is this crate, by far. Um, and yeah, let's we'll do another one over here. And we also have to do lighting, so we'll do some lanterns. Uh, aside from that, I don't think there's much of much else in here. Um, let's throw a uh, let's throw a bearskin rug, at least, right? One of those. And maybe a bookshelf or two. Yeah, I'd say we throw like a couple of them in here. Cool. Pretty simple. And do 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 do. Whoa. There we go. Lantern. Lantern. And lantern. I would say that is sufficient. Yeah, there's not much room for anything else. <laughs> All right, yeah, thanks, QED. Is there really anything else I can throw in here? <laughs> um. Ah, we could do that. What we did, uh, yeah, let's, um, let's do some fancy custom shelves. How about, how about that? Sounds pretty cool. Um, let's see. Uh, ooh, is it going to stick out the other side? It might. <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll do a test one. Let's see. So we want... This guy and use clipping and do that. Oh yeah, it sticks way out the other side, so eh, maybe not. Maybe it isn't so great here. All right, um, that's fine. Uh, how about we just do like a built-in the right level? Ah. There we go, a built-in, and we can throw some stuff on it. Yeah, I like that better. Is it sticking out? Actually, that's not that bad. 
on the other side. All right, cool. Um, and we'll throw like pillows and, and fabric, that kind of stuff on here. Let's see. Uh, where are the fabric piles? Pillow pile. Where's the messy pillow pile? Actually, you know what? Filter. <laughs> Use the search filter. There's the fabric pile. Took me no time at all to find it because I was smart and used the search. Now we'll do pillow. Pillow pile two, that's the one we're looking for. The messy one, whoa. Do that there and one there and then we'll do a, a, a neatly stacked one right there. Nice. All right. And do we have room for another built-in? Uh, well, I mean, we can do one like right here. Um, let's see, go back to rural, grab, let's grab this one. And pop that there, does it stick out? Mm, yes, but it's very close to the floor, so it just looks like part of the, uh, part of the design. <laughs> That's fine. All right, so on this, I'm gonna stick Ooh, let's see, how about, oh yeah, the rugs, 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 Where'd they go? There we go, rug pile. Let's do a couple of those on there. There, now it looks like a nicely kind of a pointed room. Um... Oh yeah, also accessories. There we go. Uh, travel accessories. Let's throw some of those around. Throw, whoa. Whoa, no, not what I wanted. There we go. <laughs> throw one there, throw one there. Uh, we can throw one on top of here. Throw one here. Uh, maybe one up here. Whoop. Or... Yeah, whatever. That works. There we go. All right. Uh, do we want to do a chair? I mean, we could? Yeah, sure. A uh, chair is not hard to find. It's very close to the top here. And as I say that, it's going to take me forever. Nope, it's right here. <laughs> Got it. Cool. All right. There's that room. Big communal sort of uh, hostel style <laughs> style room. Uh, cool. All right. So these are going to be private rooms. Uh, definitely like this one and this one for high high ranking members. I would say maybe I would say they have like a bunk, like one bunk. Um, and if you're staying there by yourself, then hey, you have you can choose to sleep on the top or bottom. Um, but if you have like it's you and your spouse, or you and um, I don't know, just whoever you have traveling with you, you can uh, you have the option, right? Uh, all right. So I guess that works. That was the door open right into their heads. Perfect. <laughs> Maybe we move it over one. Yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, yeah, same with this one. Just gonna have one set of bunks. Let's copy that. And guess you don't really want to be near the window. So here, I guess, is the optimal place. Either the door is gonna open into. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, that works. Ah, excuse me. I am all yawns today. Jeez. It's just been one of those weekends. <laughs> and Monday. <laughs> weekends plus Monday. Hey, McCabe, welcome back. Uh, let's see, we'll throw this guy here. Why not? That corner isn't doing anything else. 
<laughs> uh, all right, so we got some beds in. Um, these are fancy enough that we would probably have a bearskin rug. So we can, th yeah, we can definitely throw one in here. Let's see. Doop. And. Doop. <laughs> there we go. Um, let's do some lighting. Throw some lant hanging lanterns in here. Oh yeah, yeah, no problem. <laughs> no, th no, thanks you, thanks for the inside, inside info. Much appreciated. Uh, that, that, yeah, I guess two lanterns is fine, and I guess we're doing the same thing over here. <laughs> there we go. Cool. Uh, all right. Oop. There we go. Oh yeah, that 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 I think will be a game changer. Like if you can do rotate things, um, like quarter or even just even if it's just like half quarter, and 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 stuff like that. Even if it isn't like super um, arbitrary, you can just that even that would help. That'd be that'd be great. Uh, I did not have a, have a look at the video yet, but uh, I will have a chance to now, since uh, we're gonna take our first little ad break. <laughs> I can go ahead and uh, take a peek at it while we're uh, while we're on break. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take a quick little break, and when we come back, uh, there's gonna be more of this, more furnishing stuff. Uh, don't go anywhere, cause we aren't gonna go anywhere either. Peace. Be right back. <laughs> Oh boy, we are back. We're back for more of this. More Tailspire. Uh, there we go, there's a sound. <laughs> hey. <clears throat> so, uh, yes, I am back. And I did have a chance to uh, look at that video. It's awesome. Um, you can do a lot with that. <laughs> it's amazing. It's a game changer, I would say. I would say it uh, it drastically improves the interface, and um, I uh, I am gonna poop my pants. I'm gonna just I'm just gonna flat out poop my pants because of that. <laughs> it's uh it's it is awesome. Like it uh, apparently it gives you like when you play something you can i think it's either a toggle or something where you it brings up a, a a a rotate tool where you can rotate it it looks like on on the quarter or even the eighth possibly um but uh it's pretty cool tiles will still be as they are now but props will be getting that okay just the prop well that's that's where the big problem is though that's the props yeah <laughs> that's a lot of the props are like well i really wish this was this was this size or or that, but uh, that's still very cool. That is still very cool. <laughs> awesome, yeah. I uh, I like it. Bone pile, no. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's the bone pile. I was looking for that the other day. Um, anyway, uh, that was yes, it was very cool. Um, I will see if I can share that link. I'll probably try and share that link. On like my uh, my Twitter or something, um, just for the people who follow the follow the sh the stream and and stuff can see it, but uh, it's cool. It is very nice. I I'm hyped. I'm super hyped. As I mentioned, I might poop my pants. That's how hyped I am. All right, I think. Uh, oh, these walls are not as. Yeah, I might be able to get away with. See, with stuff like uh, this now that I'm I'm trying to do here. Where is it? There it is. Side table. Uh, I could actually move that into the space instead of having it meld into the wall, <laughs> uh, and it, it won't look as janky. But uh, as it stands, this is fine. 
uh, eventually, it's it's good to know that this I won't I will eventually not have to do this. <laughs> uh, let's see, where's the picture? There it is. Boom. There you go. There's your little uh, little wash basin table thing. Uh, and we'll also do one in this room. And we also kind of have to do one in here. Um, I guess. Oh, I can get rid of one bookshelf. We don't need two bookshelves. Yeah, that's fine. Let's grab that. Copy. Paste. And copy. Paste. And, oh, there we go. Copy. Paste. There. There we go. Cool beans. And we're going to do one in here as well. Uh, right by the window. How about that? We'll do it that way. It might stick through the window, but that's fine. <laughs> Let's see. Do, do, do. There we go. Whoop, whoop, there. Ah, that's fine. <laughs> it is sticking through the window a little, but that, that's fine. All right, cool. Um, this, we also want to have these chests, one of these chests, I think one is fine, this guy here, and how about a chair, uh, we can do a chair like right there, probably, Prob probably maybe, where is it, there it is. All right, and one bookshelf, and there's really only one spot we can put it. So there is where it'll go. Right there. Cool. All right, there's the schmancy rooms. Two, schman two schmancy rooms, one big communal hostel style room. Uh, there's that floor. Done. It's donezo. Next floor. Um, I don't think we're actually going to be putting anything on these balconies, aside from what's already there. <laughs> um. Hmm. Let me... Uh, uh, humor me for a moment. Let me see something here. <laughs> uh, what do we have available to us? What does this look like? Nah, what does this look like? Mm, no. Alright, how about... Uh, ooh, one of these. Is this guy? Uh, kind of. Kind of. We'll use this guy as a test. The, te the, 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 the test we're attempting right now is potted plant. <laughs> the potted plant test. Uh, we're going to try to combine tiles to make a potted plant. So, we need that. We need nature, of course. Uh, or ideally, I should say. One by one jungle plant. Is that gonna... Ah, I like it. I like it. Okay. That does look like a potted plant. Uh, cool. Uh, alright. I will say also, maybe... It, uh, maybe, oh, what's this? Ooh, that's a big one. Ooh, that's a big one, too. All right, I think we started with the correct one, the smaller one. Uh, but maybe it has vines. Let me see here. Uh, that'd be in jungle. Maybe it is a crawling uh, or climbing plant. Uh, ooh, so we got to bring that down to the floor. And... That around it, or there and there. Sure. 
<laughs> and oh, uh, one one of the little little vines right about there. Or is that too much? Oh, I think we have to go below the floor a little bit. Let's see. Mm, right there. Cool. I mean, you can't really see it anyway, but that works. <laughs> uh, cool. And let's come down a little bit. Oop, too far. Oop, not far enough. All right. Oop, you had it. There we go. And we'll put one here. <laughs> or maybe we, oh, I think we can get away with putting it into the, into that space, right? Like here, or is that, oh, well, you can't even see it. Where, actually, where did it go? Oh, I, I kind of see it. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't work. Um, so we'll put it here. Yeah, it looks fine. And like here. As kind of hanging down. Yeah, I like that. And then come back to the floor level and grab the longer one and have it going up the up that uh, support. And we're going to have to probably do a couple more little bits, which is fine. That work? Nope. How about here? Nope. <laughs> How about here? Nope. How about if I do this way? Ugh. How about this way? How about if I come down <laughs> a little bit more here? All right. How about now? Uh, yeah, that looks better. You can actually kind of see it. All right. And then, ooh, this way. There we go. All right, there is the potted plant that is getting out of control, <laughs> but nobody wants to deal with it. So they're just letting it, letting it do its thing. Excellent. All right. Yeah, that is, that does look kind of nice. Surprised it actually <laughs> it looks okay. All right. Yeah, imagine with the with the rotation and stuff, huh? Yeah, be even crazier. Although you could only really do that with the pot <laughs> because that's the only prop. Everything else is from uh, is from a tile set, which is fine. Um, yeah, it's still cool. It's still cool as balls. Um, I guess that's a term, right? Cool as balls. I don't know. <laughs> uh. Cool. Um, all right, we're uh, we have to do the guild offices next. Uh, let's see. I'd be on this floor. So the guild offices—they're basically <laughs> uh, they will have beds in them. Um, the tiles refer to more. Oh, the blocky tiles like walls and floors. Okay. I think the vine should. Oh, cool! All right, that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, I I would say for stuff like that, it it's de it definitely helps. Awesome. So let's see here. Uh, this is the big main guild house room. Where basically the guild master is going to stay, uh, <clears throat> and uh, I already have in my head. Uh, I have it worked out who he is, um, but I'm not sure how I'm going to convey that in <laughs> in the room. So let's start with these smaller ones. Um, we can only really get away with a cot at this point for beds, as uh, since the since the actual beds are a little off center. They're a little big. Uh, too, but for this, for this, pur for these purposes, this is fine. Um, 
Or maybe the smaller ones are just offices and they don't have uh, beds in them. I think I like that better. Okay, that's actually easier to do too. So for like this one here, we can just do some bookshelves and a desk if we can. Um, I don't really want to do that. I think the chair is going to be like here. So let's do that. That's easy. Chair, 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 chair. go <clears throat> uh we'll do a built-in kind of thing along the wall here at the window let's go back down to rural let's see rural rural the rural juror uh cool actually i think that is more of a desk than anything else i could possibly <laughs> try to make uh cool all right so actually we'll extend that into the corner and yeah i think that's good um can we get away with putting a built-in shelf here hereabouts let me see whoops there we go Let's stick out too far out there. Eh, I think it's fine. <laughs> That's fine. And we'll do one more up here. There we go. Cool. Uh, all right. Well, then I guess we can rotate the chair to at least be facing that way. <clears throat> and can we use a side table? I I guess so. Hey QED, welcome back. We made it we made a potted plant. <laughs> there it is in all of its glory. And it's it's growing up uh along the uh the the uh, balcony supports and all that fun stuff. Turned out okay. Turned out okay. You can, if I wanted to get more detailed, I could do some layers and, and do some of these fronds at different heights. But I think for now, <laughs> for now, it's good. Uh, all right, let me scroll this back down. Let's finish up this office. Um, I'm going to do a candle on this desk quote unquote desk where is uh oh here we go we can do book and we just want the book reading right here um those are all one by one uh <clears throat> so we're gonna do side table i'm just gonna type in table whoa huh. or nothing t oh that's because i have the book filter on tent <laughs> Oh, I see. It keeps the last search in there as a as a search variable. I get it. All right, so we're going to throw that down as a quote-unquote desk. And then go back to papers. We want this one because it fits real nice on top of there. Cool. Uh, we're going to do candle. Candle, 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 lighting. Candle. Right there. Whoop. There we go. Candle. Cool. Um. Also gonna do. Yeah. Thank you. Turned out pretty good. Um. What else do we want to do here? Uh. I guess we can do. Like just some the the accessories. That kind of works. <laughs> Yeah, one of these. Throw that up here. Maybe another one up here. Whoa, huh, too far, too far. There we go. Rotate it. Yeah. Cool. 
Uh, I'm going to swap out one of these bookshelves for the laboratory one. There we go. And... Uh, well, I mean, a rug, right? It's a fancy office for one of the guild members. Uh, yes, I did. I saw the uh, the crystals. Those are freaking amazing. I showed those a little bit when we were doing the uh, the basement uh, or the cellar of the guild house here. Um, but yes, they are awesome. And uh, one one of my buddies on stream, uh, he's doing some, starting doing some building in Tailspire, and he said they're really great for underwater lighting, um, <laughs> which we can actually hear. Let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, take a quick look at the underwater lighting effects crystals let's arrange a couple here and a couple here and let's drag that water up <laughs> that's kind of neat and what if we do oh hold on uh Darkness. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's really darkness. It got rid of all the lighting. Okay, okay. Let's try... Uh, let's see. Default sky. Uh, create the... Oh, no, no, no. What the... Oh, what nighttime. Oh. Yeah, it's still a little dim, but that... that it's still cool. Uh, let me see. Exposure? Is that... No. Whoa. Post effect. Enchanted. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, if you are underwater, let's see if we do that and then do darkness. Oh, yeah, now you can see it. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> That's cool. Um, all right, let's go back to default sky. Oh, wait, let's try green slump. See what that does. Whoa. I'm Im I imagine it looks a lot different if you change this back to... Yeah, there you go. Green slump makes it uh, kind of neat. All right, back to default. And there goes the water. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's something they have to uh, have to check on the uh, <laughs> the uh, transparency uh, and the water. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the exact term or anything. Uh, oh, I can close that. There we go. But yeah, they do look really neat. It's very cool. Uh, oops, we, there we go. There we go. Uh, all right, and over here, how do I want to do this? Um, let's do this, actually. Let's grab one of these. Throw it there on the half. Uh, and we'll grab a lantern. There we go. Right there. Is that level? Yes. Cool. <laughs> oh, you have actually an inside at uh, at uh, Tailspire headquarters HQ, McCabe, uh, aka Bouncy Rock. And we'll throw a bear rug. Let's see. Oh, there we go. There, that's cozy. All right. I would say that's a decent office. We can probably probably throw some more books or something here. Um, let me move that one over here. And we will uh, mod over the Discord uh oh cool oh gotcha gotcha awesome that's cool Whoa. 
Hey, there you go. Some books. Hey. All right. Awesome. Maybe I can actually put this here. Yeah, that still looks fine. Sweet. All right, that that is an office. If ever I seen one. <laughs> All right, so we can do kind of the same thing over here. Uh, this one's actually a little bit smaller. <laughs> Just by like half a half a space. <laughs> So we have to be very creative with our uh, our usage of space. Um, so I'm guessing we're just going to put the chair there. We'll put a built-in here and here. And then bookshelf. Bookshelf? Yeah. I guess that works. Gushy, what's up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are furnishing the guild house. Here uh, on the on the stream. How are things going? Let's see here. Let's go to the rural, the rural juror, and pop these in here. I'm gonna use the fancy ones with the uh, <laughs> with the decoration on them. All right. There's your built-in desk area. Uh, let's see. Chair. It's a chair. Chair, 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 chair. There it is. Uh, yeah, I guess facing that way is fine. Definitely going to put a candle in this corner. Lighting candle. Do, do, do. Cool. And just some papers and books and stuff. We'll do... Yeah, this book pile seems to work really well up against a wall. Yeah, it's fine. And the book re book reading. Where is that? Passing by and saying hi. Nice. Got some... Okay. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for stopping by and saying hey. Book, book, reading. There it is. Throw that right there. And I guess we can do another book pile. Another one of these. Oh, there we go. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. All right. And a bookshelf. Well, cool. <laughs> that That's what we want. Or maybe we can we move it? Yeah, let's move it a little closer. Eh, maybe not. I guess right there is fine. It's very actually no, we can move it here. That's right. There we go. That's better. Cool. And we can. We I guess we're gonna do a rug. Uh, There's not a whole lot of room for it, but hey, whatever. All of the all of the guild masters or the guild members, I guess, the heads of each guild get a bear rug. Why not? That way he can he can curl up there in front of the fire and take a nap if he wants to. When he's not uh, taking care of guild business. Uh, let's see, is that? Oh, I guess the tops of those would be right about where we need it for this built-in shelf. Right there. Whoop. Let's throw it there. And I guess we're... Uh, yeah, let's just do, just do the one. Just the one. And the props. And this guy. We'll throw that on the shelf. And... And we'll grab this again and throw it in this corner too. More built-in surface. Whoa, that is not at the right level. <laughs> there we go. That's better. And I will throw... How about a big, beefy lantern on there? All right. 
cool. And uh, let's also just do a tapestry. Why not? Uh, we'll do the uh, the horizontal one. Let's see. Yeah. Rug wall, tapestry. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Uh, maybe we can... Let's move it over. Whoa. Whoa's. Whoa. There we go. Too far. Okay. We can, pro we can put it here, right? Yeah, that's fine. Ooh. That wall is... All kind... Oops. Huh. <laughs> Oops. There we go. <laughs> I like that. There we go. Now it's not floating in midair. All right. Cool. Uh, yeah. I think that that works out. We don't want to cram too much in there. He's got a, he's got two lighting things. He's he's good. <laughs> he doesn't have as quite a nice a desk as the guy in the next room, but. He does have more room. Uh, how are you adjusting the height grid, by the way? Uh, I'm just using both the both mouse buttons. <laughs> and if it's if I need precise uh, adjustment, I use the slider. But uh, generally, if I if I see the height of where I want to place stuff already represented, like on a tile, like the top of the bookshelf, I just uh, double not double click, but click with left and right, left and right click on onto the surface and uh, it. I bring it to that surface. Yeah, yeah, that's it's a nice it's a nice feature, a nice a nice little shortcut. All right. Uh oh, I guess we have to do some sort of lighting in the hallway. Um mm, 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 mm. Sure. I mean, it can just be about anywhere. Let's do... Well, actually, not anywhere. It can't be too close to the stairs, or else it'll block the stairs. Um, okay, lantern small. We'll throw one here, one here, and one here. Perfect. Oh, I guess we can also throw one over back this way. <laughs> Oop. There we go. And grab that, and throw it there. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah, I kind of discovered that one by accident. <laughs> I was like, oops, I clicked both. Oh, it moved the grid. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, I know what we can do in here. Let's throw some uh, log piles underneath these stairs. Or firewood. Oops. Rotate that one. There we go. There we go. And we can do one more. Right into the wall over here. <laughs> there. Perfect. And all right. So that hallway is lit. It's off the chain. It's not. Sorry. I'm sorry I said that. <laughs> So, this is the guild. Well, I guess either one could really be the guild man. Oh, this one's slightly bigger. This room. So that's the guild master's room. And I guess this guy is also kind of well to do since he has access to the balcony and all that fun stuff. <laughs> hmm. Let's see here. trying to get a gauge of what to do so these rooms we can actually put beds in um they're just that big so uh where to put the bed i would say it would have to be over here and it's generally going to take up this whole since we're going to have having to for now we're having to place it here in these two squares we're just going to have to put stuff around it uh which I guess, which is fine. Uh, all right, let's see. 
big bed in tavern and we want the big red bed right there cool and let's see what to put over here i guess we'll use our good friend the what is it small crate number one number two i think it's small crate number two I always forget the the name of it. Dark Crate Medium number two. <laughs> Which has become our personal all-star. Um, and let's see. We'll do some built-ins in the corners just so we can set stuff on them so that it's not sitting on the floor. Do-do-do. And do-do. Cool. 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 Uh... Those are the right level? Yeah, cool. All right. And how about we do um, about a book on one and a candle on the other? Or we can do the book just sitting on one of the chests, too. That works as well. Let's see. We are also going to do the side table with the... Uh, the wash basin. Just to keep that in mind. Uh, oh, we can do a pile of books. Uh, I think we just want book reading on one of these here. Like right there, and then the candle over there. Where is candle? Candle is there. There we go. All right, <clears throat> we're also gonna do a chest. We should just do the Crystal Owl chest. We can just do the Crystal Owl chest as a desk. <laughs> it's pretty dang cool. Um, the Guildmaster has a very fancy desk. <laughs> Let's see. I'll do... We'll do the gold chest. Let's just stack it here behind the bed. Um, over here... How about a bookshelf? A bookshelf, and then next to it, the wash basin. Uh, let's do the fancy laboratory bookshelf. This one. Yes. That's the one. Side table. Side table, side table, side table. Is down here. Nope, don't want to open it. There we go. Desert plate. If I can find it. What was that? Oh. Where is it? There it is. And then the pitcher. I suppose I can just grab it. Oh, those are on... An, oh, they're on another floor. Never mind. That would take a little bit. There it is. It's right there anyway. <laughs> Ta-da. Wash basin. Sweet. Looking good. Um don't really know what else to put on this. Uh here, let's do let's do one of these. The accessory. There it is. Travel accessories. Yeah, throw one of those there. That works. All right, and of course, Bearskin Road, right there. And we want a chair too, let's grab one of those. We'll put it right there, that works. Um, so now the office part of his little, little room situation here. Uh, hmm, I guess. I guess we could just move the chair to where his desk is going to be. Right about. Uh, <clears throat> and probably do another bookshelf. All right. And this is going to be, I guess it's just going to be a built-in again. But it's going to come out from the wall. see here. Yeah, let's use this again. 
Yeah, I mean, that's kind of a desk. <laughs> eh, works well enough. Um, and again, I think we're going to use, I think we'll use the lantern. Borrow, copy this guy and move it over here. And we can actually use this guy. There we go. And we'll also use the book, the reading, book reading right there as well. Um, also, we're going to put some piles of books around because the Guildmaster here is a, well, at least in my setting, I had him. He was a cleric of Mistra. Um, and uh, so he's uh, he's a he's a cleric, but he also knows wizard spells, which was the weirdest thing. I remember back in in three five, uh, when Forgotten Realms first when came out in three five, they had the 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 magic domain that you could be a cleric, but have the magic domain, so you would be like a cleric that could cast magic missile. It was the weirdest thing, <laughs> but I was like totally about it. I was like, oh, that's sweet. You mean I can heal people and cast magic missile? That's oh, it's awesome. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, he is he's essentially he's a cleric of, of Mistra, so he's a cleric of the goddess of magic, um, who has died several times at this point. She's died once sp spectacularly, um, and possibly a second time if my if I'm if I'm remember if I'm remembering my lore correctly. But she has returned both times. <laughs> so she's resilient, if nothing else. All right, I'm going to put a pile of books there. And what do we do with the rest of this space? Um, how about another bookshelf here? Whoa, uh, there. Um, I guess we'll grab one of the regular, regular ones. This one. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's not one. It said the trickery cleric changeling isn't getting played. Oh, on hold, man. Yeah, that that does suck. I do, I do, just I do uh, not like having <laughs> games being put on hold. I mean, I've got a bunch of games going right now, but uh, and it it should feel like a lot, but it it's actually. I mean, it, the the amount of fun that I have doing it just kind of offsets. The uh, any fatigue I would be feeling, nor I'm sure I'm gonna build out, I'm gonna burn out <laughs> at some point. But until then, this is fun. Uh, tricky domain plus changeling has so many chances for. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, okay, I th think that's good. Um. Um, yeah, unless we want to do more lighting, like maybe we can throw, I don't think we can get away with the lantern in that corner. Um, oh, there are no support beams in here. Haha, <laughs> wow. <laughs> How do you get away with that? Um, well, actually we can probably grab one, throw it in here, like, uh, there, that works. And how about also here? Sure. <laughs> that that works. Uh let's see. Is that the right level? Yes it is. Copy that. Put it right there. Cool. And oh I guess we can put another one. We'll do two. We'll do another one right here. Yeah. I like it. Yep, there we go. There's the guild master's room. Um, not much else needed. Yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, the balcony is the balcony. Um, don't really know if I really want to put anything out there. I mean, I could put a, a brazier out there, but. 
Yeah, maybe. Eh, maybe not. <laughs> eh, I think we just leave it. I think it's. I think it should be fine. Or maybe we could just do a uh, like a hanging lantern. Let me let me see if I can get the uh, under under undercarriage of this thing and figure out. Well, I guess we can just put it uh, right next to this pillar. Whoa, too far, too far. There we go. Which, by the which I, uh, it just occurred to me that I can do this. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of that before, but hey. For these pillars that are uh, on a corner, and I'm like, well, which way should I turn it? Well, I guess it really doesn't matter. Well, now I can have the best of both worlds. <laughs> and just do that. All right, so the lantern I'm just going to put right here. Let me make sure I'm on the right level. Uh, I think that's too far. Oh, hey, yeah, thanks, McCabe. Thanks for stopping by. Um, yeah, thanks, you too. You have a nice, have a nice, yeah, day night. Uh, it's an afternoon for me here. Uh, and thanks, yeah, it's coming along. We're going to, we're going to... Hopefully finish up the stream with uh, finishing the tavern. Um, if not, we'll s at least start it. <laughs> Take care, man. Thanks for all the, all the inside info, and, uh, and thanks for hanging out and chatting. Throw that. Whoa. Throw that there. Make sure we're level. I think we are. Yeah. It's just kind of floating there, but meh. Whatever. If we're really, really not liking that, I th think... Well, no, that's that doesn't work. I was going to say, I think we have something that we can uh, use. Well, we kind of do. It's very janky. Um, At least for now. But let's see, where is it? Where's the rope ladder? There it is, this thing. <laughs> the rope ladder ceiling uh, connector, which is on a half, so it's just gonna be like that. And it doesn't quite look right. But it does look like it connects it up into the... <laughs> up into the uh, the ceiling. Oh, actually, hold up. That gives me an idea. Let's see, if we take this, whoops. I wanted to copy it, but that works too. We do that. And then that. Can we do a janky uh, chandelier? I think we can. Hold up. Hold up. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. This is the slider we want. There. All right. So if we do that, and then... <laughs> this is going to look so weird. Uh, come down a little bit further, because this, this tile is kind of big. We grab the lantern and do it in each of the corners. Oh boy. Hold on, let me rotate this so that it's the handles in. <laughs> that is one janky chandelier. <laughs> but it kind of works. Hey, AU Andromedus, how is it going? Welcome, welcome. We are just building janky, janky chandeliers. <laughs> janky outdoor chandeliers in Tailspire. Uh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, that kind of works. I like it. I'm keeping it. <laughs> in fact, I like it so much, I am going to copy it. And I am going to put it in my text document full of, full of stuff. Uh, it's on desktop, and where is it? Tailspire Buildings, and let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, here, I should really just move it over here so everyone can see what I'm doing. Uh, this is my, my giant text, well, it's not giant, my text document full of stuff. Uh, from Tailspire. Uh, so this is Chandelier. Uh, I'm just going to write Chandler. 
<laughs> uh, like Chandler Bing with lanterns. Lanterns? Urns, please. And uh, just control V. It'll paste that information I just copied from Tailspire. And it looks like gobbledygook. But if you copy and paste that into another instance of Tailspire or another map, or the same map, it'll paste that exact thing that I that I just copied. Cool. Let's save that. And I'm going to move this off screen. And I'll just close it. That works. Ha <laughs> ha! Whoa! What happened? I accidentally grabbed the roof piece. All right. It's still there. I just copied it. All right. Cool. <laughs> oh, that's great. That is great. I'm going to have to be careful with it, though, because I have to place that first and then the ceiling tile that it places into. Because with clipping, you can't clip groups of objects. You can only clip single objects. So it's easier to place the group first and then clip into the group as opposed to the other way around. And I'm sure all that made sense <laughs> to anyone listening. Uh, all right. So the other... Uh, guild room. This one's going to be a little bit easier since we have whole uh, a whole space here against the wall. So we can put the bed like right here. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll do it that way. Let's do it that way. We'll use the blue bed. There we go. And we'll put one chest on the side of the bed. Like a le legitimate, legit chest. We'll do we'll do a little leather chest here, right there, and then we'll do a built-in. Let me borrow this block. Thank you. Do built-in. We'll just do a built-in along there, and then that way we can put stuff on it, like a book and a candle. Where's the candle? Candle right there, and a book. Book, book, book. Pillow pile, book, reading. There it is. All right. Uh, <clears throat> and I think in this corner we'll put this. Ha. Ah. There we go. Cool. Awesome. We are going to finish up the guild house because this is the last room. Um, and we might have some little little things to add to the roof. And some lighting to the hallway below. But aside from that, it's mostly mostly complete. But we'll finish doing that right after this quick little ad break. So uh, stay tuned. Hey, yo. We back. We're back to this. We're going we're gonna to do more furnishing. I promise to bring you more prop furnishing in Skyrim. In, uh, in uh, Tailspire. Uh, Saturday was a long time ago. Uh, feels like it. <clears throat> um, welcome back. We're gonna we're gonna continue to furnish this room. Um, I think this wall here is just asking for some bookshelves. <laughs> so let me let's grab. Um, yeah, I guess this one's fine. Let's copy it. Copy and paste. And I guess we'll do a normal one on the other side of it. Yeah, right there. Cool. Um, so he also has a desk, though. Where do we put it? This is awkward. Um, how about this? How about we move this over here? We put the desk like here. Put the chair there. We put the, yeah, I was, yeah, it's going to be kind of wonky, but eh, whatever. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Um, sure. So, and actually, this was bugging me. This is a little low as far for a desk, especially compared to the chair. So, uh, here, let's, let's, let me try a little experiment here. Let me move this up here and move it up half a step. And then I'll put that on top of it. Put this on top, this on top of it, and the book reading 
on top of it. Then I come halfway into this one and then I just copy it. And then using clipping, I clip into it so that now it's one and a half spaces tall. And now that looks a little bit more realistic as a, it's kind of high, but it's, I'd rather be, it be kind of high than kind of low. So if we bring in uh, a, a figure just for scale, like our buddy Dragonborn here, um, let me open the door. Maybe that'll, nope, still, <laughs> let me get the door out of the way. Let me open it into the scene. That'll help. Um, it's, yeah, it's kind of like a high counter, but I like it better that way, I think. It's a little bit more imposing. <laughs> a bit of a panic. Uh oh, made a mistake of uh, mentioning Underdark to my players as flavor text and... Oh, no. Chasing players down there uh, on his way... Oh, to Onorok. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing to do with the story at all. Oh man. Well, uh, yeah, this is where this is where you you might have to actually show them how difficult the underdark can actually be. That might result in. A, I'm not recommending you kill a player. Let's start with that. However, I recommend you show them how difficult the underdark can be. <laughs> it need not result in a player death. Um, it can be an incredibly tight spot that they have to really burn some resources to get it, to get out of and get back to the surface. Um, but that'll definitely, definitely <laughs> illustrate for them the, the, uh, the deadliness of the Underdark. Because there's some really, na not just Drow. I mean, freaking Balanoth. Look up Balanoth in the Monster Manual. Yeah. <laughs> Balanoths are horrible to fight. Horrible. And for an unprepared party, deadly. They can be just straight up deadly. Even if you're fighting, oh, I can't. I threw two up against my uh my group and they were like level I want to say like level 11. Um and even then they had problems. <laughs> they had difficulty because the innate nature of the Balhanoth is that they can split your party up very easily. Oop, back into build mode. There we go. And let me see if I can get a level for these shelves that I'm going to put in here. Uh, so just under, just under that one. There we go. <laughs> yeah, sometimes players make uh, they hyper focus on a on an NPC. <laughs> Which is why I try to be very careful about the NPCs I introduce, and I only really... Oh wait, that's not gonna work there. Never mind, I'm not doing a shelf. I only really introduce flavorful ones when it's uh, absolutely necessary. <laughs> Otherwise, I just, you know, try to stick to uh, mundane... I don't want to say mundane. Um, like, I don't give them too much flavor. I, I try to, I try to, you know, say, well, this is this is what he sounds like, and it's usually a generic voice, but different than my own, at least to give it a little bit of immersion. Um, but yeah, the Underdark, um, that could be difficult. I forget, where, oh, I forget how I, I heard about our this might have come up in conversation that I had with someone but oh no this was I think this is a meme actually where uh your players enter a tavern and you see a man drinking at the bar alone and they ask who else is in the bar oh I don't know a couple other patrons um some I don't know half elf maybe and there's a goblin over sitting by himself and drinking Really? I'm gonna go talk to the goblin. They ask the goblin his name, and the DM's like, "Well, his name is something silly and and crazy and interesting." And the, he gives him a silly voice, and <laughs> so now they're hyper focused on this goblin <laughs> that has nothing to do with anything. Uh, which is that's just the way it goes in D and D. Um, the players are gonna play the game they want to play. That's just what it is. 
It doesn't matter what the DM has planned. The players are going to play the game they want to play. <laughs> and it's the DM's job to facilitate that, but at the same time, maybe try and work in some story. Uh, uh, you know, keep some things on the sideline. Maybe eventually it'll come back around to a point where you can, ooh, introduce some plot. Here, here's some plot that I was, you know, hoping on doing, and we got super sidetracked from. <laughs> but here it is again. You're going to bite this time? <laughs> that kind of thing. You just have to have contingency plans. Don't 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 hang a story hook on one contingency. Make it flexible so that it can you can re revisit it from any different angle. Like, okay, they go here instead. Well, then I guess they'd hear about this this story hook this way or, you know, that kind of thing. Which also then bleeds into the area of don't prepare too much. <laughs> Because, I mean, that's the, that's the perfect way to not have that problem, is you just don't prepare too much. You know, if it happens, it happens. If not, we can, we can wing it. We can throw it in there somehow. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's right. We were going to do a wash basin over here. So let me grab the wash basin table. Throw it there. Oh, I guess that is exactly the height of the of the side table the the one and a half stacked desk so that works that works out there we go and picture cool all right um can we put here some books can we put books here let me see i'm gonna find one that's somewhat centered on the tile space wait where are they <gasps> they disappear there they are <laughs> uh hey that kind of works sure Okay, um, and of course, bearskin rug. They all get one. So just cram it in right there. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, all right. I think this one, she done. Um, unless we want to, eh, I guess that's fine the way it is. Any more bookshelves or anything? I guess I'll replace this. Or the bookshelf. Let's do the bookshelf with nothing on the top shelf, which is this guy. And we'll throw that bedroll on the top bookshelf. Uh huh. How about that? Best of both worlds. Right there. Ta da! Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool beans. Uh, oh, lighting. Um, and also maybe some <laughs> wall supports or something. Let's do... Let's copy that. Throw it... Oh, no, that's not on the half, is it? <gasps> it's not. So we gotta do them all over here? Ugh, okay. Okay. It doesn't really work for us, though. <laughs> maybe we do... We can do one there. And maybe one here. Ugh, no, I don't. I don't like that. Um. So yeah, I guess that's it. Uh oh, we can do. I see what we can do. We can do like here and here. That works. Yeah, all right. So then we can just put a lantern in this space. Copy. Paste. And I think that'll be good. That should be fine. Cool. All right. I think that is it for this 
guild house. Um, oh, we have to do the lighting on the floor below here. Do, do, do. There, in this hallway, specifically. Uh, oh, this isn't going to be real easy, because uh, this, this little hallway here is only one, one cell thick, so... Whoops, wrong slider. There we go. That's what we want. <clears throat> um, did I put any other lanterns in here? Oh, I didn't put any lanterns in here. Uh-huh, okay, well. You live... Oh, wait. No, I did. There they are. They are just hidden. Um, oh, yeah. No, we, we're, we're fine. All right, so I'm gonna put one copy, throw one there, and one there, and how about one here? And I think that'll do it. I think that's all the more we really need. Cool. Yeah, aside from that, we're good. Uh, do we wanna do another potted plant? We could. It was fun to make the first one. Let's let's go ahead and make another potted plant. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see. Let's make a taller one. We can use the tall... Uh, this guy. Desert pottery. This guy right here. Throw it right there. Beautiful. Um, clip into it a little bit. And go up to... Nature, right there. There it is. All right, and we can use the big one. <laughs> Whoa, wrong space. Oh wait, no, we can't. We have to use this one because <laughs> that uh, that one is uh, definitely not going to work. Uh, <clears throat> down half a slow. Too far. Too far. Oh, I guess it's either that or right on top. Well, let's try right on top, see how it looks. That's good. That's not bad. I like it. So if we come down a uh, half step again and do that. Cool. And then back up a half a step and do that. Haha. <laughs> and we can also do one big f uh, frond. Oh, whoa. That is like. Oh, yeah, that's not centered, so we can't do that one. Never mind. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, jungle, 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 jungle. There we go. All right, let's see if we can make these vines look like they're crawling up this pitcher. And also... Mm -hmm. Right there. And I guess we can just flip it around and just fill the tile. There we go. <laughs> I think this is tall enough that we can just kind of place it. Or we, mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to go through the floor by a half step, which is fine. Doot, doot. Hey. There we go. And we'll do another one over here. Yeah. Cool. And we can do some some serious hanging vines. <clears throat> Excuse me. Coming down. Let's see if I'm at the right level. Ooh. Oh, no. Just off. Let me see. A half step. Yeah. Try that. Try that. There we go. That's better. Nice. And if we come to the halfway, is it the halfway point that this smaller one hits, or is it 
it's slightly, slightly up. There we go. Try that. Ta -da. Oh, whoa, we are on the very wrong <laughs> perspective. <laughs> That yeah, I guess that's right. Cool. Uh, I just noticed they have another. Oh, they have the single strand going along the floor. Cool. We'll just throw that like here. Uh -huh. Cool. And also, let's see, copy that. Throw it. Whoops. There we go. Copy that and throw it here. Yeah. And maybe do another long strand over here. Haha. -ha. And let's see. Let's do one going up. <clears throat> Up this, uh, whoop, up the pillar. Whoops, not what I wanted to. Oh, okay, there, that works. <laughs> Did not want to uh, cut, I wanted to copy. Uh, yeah, I guess that works. Uh, let's try it here. I guess we gotta do this. Yeah, that's better. All right, I think that'll do. I think that's enough without it getting too out of control. Um, nice. Couple potted plants there. Add add some greenery to our scenery. <laughs> yes, two potted plants. Um, oh, uh, Balhanoth is the uh, is the uh, monster that is incredibly nasty especially if you would do uh, if you throw two of them up against your <laughs> group because yeah as i said I, I my my home part my home group was uh, level 11 i think when they fought a pair of them and they were nasty they managed to, to to get through but um it was tough it was definitely tough All right, I think that's good, unless we want to throw another potted plant on this balcony. <laughs> Which I think we could. We could just do a little one. Let's do a little one. Let's do a little baby potted plant. Um, let's see. Let me cut away a little bit here. Is there another... I know there's that big fancy like green glowing desert pottery. Where is that? Ooh, it is like Oh, here we go. Here they all are. There's this guy, the desert cauldron. That's a little uh it's a little much. Um well, maybe not. I mean it's not glowing really. It's kinda it's kinda glowing. But we can get we can get around that. Actually, the perfect thing we can do, make it look a little different from what we've done already, is we take the fern, just kind of put it right there, and it kind of uh, kind of blocks it out a little bit, so you can't see the uh, the glowy glowy green goop. And we'll layer it. There we go. Yeah, now it just looks green. Nice, nice. Um, throw one of these in. And how about, yeah, then we do some vines. Let's see. Back to jungle. Uh, ooh. I do see something interesting. Ooh, look at that. That's cool. That's starting to get a little carried away, I think. <laughs> that, now that's a bit much. Um, cool. Oh, yeah, moss rock. Oh, but it's covered in vines. If it was just moss, I would be all about it. Uh, yeah, I think that's... Oh, we can... Um, 
Yeah, I think that's good. We're going to also put vines coming down off of it. Yeah, I guess just like that. And see how far down we have to go. I think the smaller ones are just basically half size or one and a half. They are, it appears to be one and a half tall. No, they're full, they're a full space. A full, uh, well, I guess in in-game measurement, a full five feet tall. <laughs> Which is a weird way of, of measuring it, but yeah, that's sort of, sort of the way it is. Does that work? All right, cool, that works. And then for the bigger one, I think that's right. Yeah, there we go. All right. Works for me, man. Cool. We got potted plants. <laughs> We got uh, the guild house completely done. Uh, if we wanted to be really, really fancy, we could try to do a rooftop garden. Hmm. 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 I like that idea. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Ooh, there goes my chair. Being noisy. There goes my chair. Being noisy. Let's see. Uh, all right. How do we do that? We can do. We can use the rural rooftop thing. Ooh, we are, we have a lot of menus ex expanded here. Let's see. This thing, uh, the thatched thatched chicken thing. Um. We can maybe uh, throw some green stuff in the center. Maybe. Uh, let's see. We can probably get away with doing the same thing we did with the fern. Let's see. Fern. This guy. Throw it in there. Whoa. <laughs> that just kind of gets lost, doesn't it? How about if we do it on top? Whoa. Come on, fern. There we go. Fern. Eh. Kind of, sort of, it, it kind of works. I mean, I like it. <laughs> Is there, oh, oh, we can do, uh, I'm not sure how well it'll work, but, um, shoot, do they got, do they got, do they got something that will help? <laughs> That's a productive question. Uh, what am I thinking here? Desert. The desert tiles, I think, have something? Potentially? Desert cliff tile. Uh, no, but that's a neat tile. I like it. Um, one by one. Okay. What about... No, that's too... No. Dang. Um. Ooh, what about Desert Village? They might have something. Let me see. They have a lot of really neat stuff. Desert Barstool. What? That's just funky. Let's see. Ooh, that's a little large. <laughs> uh, hmm. Wow, they have a, real, a lot of really neat tiles. I really do want to make a a desert map, but uh, as it stands, I can't. I don't have the time. I just don't have the time. Desert pillar. Ooh, that's neat. 
And then there's the Desert Torch, which we have used before on this very map. Somewhere. Why does it look blue? Why is it all crazy blue? Whoa's. Is that how it's supposed to look? Huh. Yeah. I guess so. Uh, okay. <laughs> it looks look very different in the little uh, thumbnail preview on the menu. Um, yeah, it's looking like they don't have a whole lot. Uh, yeah, this thing, which doesn't help. So I guess this is fine. Um, we can also, oh, one thing we can also do, uh, if we go into desert, is we can put little uh, vegetables or something. So it looks like little vegetables are growing. So if we put uh, specifically like squash or <laughs> something like that. Because, uh, yeah, here you go. You know, little vegetables or vegetables or whatever you want to, however you want to pronounce it. <laughs> vegetables. Uh, jungle treetop one by one. How does that look? Whoa. That is a vet. Oh, how is that one by one? <laughs> oh, I see. Underneath. Yikes. Well, that's one way to get around uh, overlapping other tiles. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um. Okay, I guess we can use that along with uh, a fern. I have a feeling that the f I have a feeling that the fern is going to be the most used on this <laughs> on this uh, rooftop garden. Um. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll do another one here. Uh, another one over here, and then maybe a couple along that way. And then two. There we go. And how about we do one by itself, right over here. There we go. Cool. Interesting. Okay, so we can do like, ooh, something like that as well. Uh, and we can overlap it just to kind of make it fill out a little bit. Yeah. I mean, at this point, we're just basically <laughs> just making it green. <laughs> as long as it's green, we're fine. Uh, we can throw one of those right there for more vegetables. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, we can just put a, an apple basket. Would they have like a tree up here? I think that's maybe too much. A tree might be too much, yeah. Let's see, let's do one of these, whoa. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I guess we have to put it level. Oops. Come on. There we go. Yeah, because if you put it level, it's, it goes right into the hay. Yeah, that's fine. And just layer it and layer it. There we go. And we'll throw a fern in there just for good measure. Boop. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, all right, what else? What else do we have here? Um, we could do a double one and use this. Hey, there you go. That actually fits really well in there. And just, just so we can layer it so that it's uh, seamless and you don't see any hay. Hey, <laughs> so you don't see any of the, the thatched. A uh, bit, you can uh, flip it and layer it. Look at that. I like it. Cool. And that's just, I don't know, a raspberry bush? Something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, cool. All right. What else can we do here? What's this two by two fern? Is that something we can. Uh... Whoa. <laughs> Woes. 
That is way off. Yeah, that's kind of a weird angle. Oh, wow. If you look at the spaces it actually takes up, it takes up one whole space on the uh, upper left, then half a space to the right, half a space down, and a quarter space down and to the right. That is a weird shaped tile. <laughs> All right, we're not using that one. Um, let's see, what else can we throw up here? The two by two thing's too big. This I don't think is gonna work since it, uh, well, kind of, it kind of works. <laughs> I mean, sure. Let's do that, and let's do a fern, and let's throw some th throw some vegetables under it, and we're good to go. Um, let's see. Actually, we're gonna rotate that. Whoops. There we go. And then throw a vegetable. Vegetable. Where are you? There we go. We'll use the fancy flowered one. Throw a couple of them down there. There we go. <clears throat> Let me move that one over here. There. Okay. Um, some of these trees actually aren't that... Guess we could do that. Um, I kind of like that. This one's a little. Oh, that's not even a top. That's just a. Yeah, like maybe just this. <laughs> it's like a little tree. Yeah, I mean that's that's believable. That's I think that's fine. <clears throat> and uh, underneath, oh, here we go. Underneath we'll do some mushrooms. Although this is not the type of environment in which you would want to grow mushrooms. Um, <laughs> you would need uh, some, some a nice dark place. But hey, whatever. This is fine. Um, cool. Uh, yeah. Oh, we have we can put a Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah, this one's got a Christmas tree. There you go. Merry Christmas. No, no, it's not good. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, oh, we have the pitcher plant. I want to see how that looks. Let's uh, let's start out by doing some layered ferns, and then. Throw this pitcher plant, maybe. Where'd it go? There it is. <laughs> That's a bit exotic, I think. <laughs> just a hair. Just a hair too exotic. Um, yeah, I guess we just do throw a couple of these. Couple of those, and maybe another uh, another of these guys, just right there. That works. And then uh, some vines going across the. Maybe one of these. Uh, maybe that's too much. That might be too much. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just some of these here, here and there. Cool. And let's see, where's that short one? This guy, which we have to come down a full half step, so we have to come down there. That should do it. Let's make sure that it's going to be level. Yep, that's level. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. 
Oh, nope. Not where we wanted it. Am I get a get a right angle here? There, that's what we want. And then another one right there. Beautiful. How about one here? And we will copy and paste this. Whoops. Here. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. I like it. Rooftop garden. That works for me. We might we might add more stuff later. Who knows? I'd say that's that's pretty good. I mean, what other reason would they have to get up to the to the roof, right? <laughs> it's not not a whole lot going on. I mean, the guards could utilize it to help defend the fortress, but aside from that, eh. Okay. Um I mean, that is the guild house. That's pretty set there. I think we're good. Uh, cool. So now we have the tavern. Tavern is the last building that we have to furnish, uh, in this entire map. <laughs> uh, so let's start it. Let's actually start it and we'll, I think we'll, we'll mostly talk about what we're going to do. Um, and well, it's the last building we have to furnish, but then we have to go through and add like stuff on the street like barrels and market tents and stuff like that and also uh yeah smack a trebuchet up there <laughs> yeah. uh oh whoa too far way too far all right first floor let me yeah, there we go oh we left these doors open how'd that happen Close those. All right. <clears throat> so, for right here, I think we're going to do one chair right by this stove. Just because it would be nice to have. I'm going to put stove chair right there. Uh, cool. And lighting. Lighting. Is oh, let me collapse. <laughs> let me collapse some of these. There we go. And ooh. lantern, boom and boom. All right, there we go. And oh, another thing that I just figured out today. Hey, look at that right there. Beautiful. You can do the same thing here. Uh -huh. Probably also the same thing here. Yeah, sure, why not? All right. Um, can't really put a chair next to this one, but I think that's fine. So we have the bars pretty much done. Um, there's all those barrels underneath the bar. They're built into the tile. And then you have drinks and stuff on the shelves here, plus some books, <laughs> I guess, why not? Um, the kitchen, uh, I guess we can dress this up a little. Um, let's see, yeah, I guess that's as good a place as any to start, right? Let's see, let's grab the grain sacks. If I can find them. Where are you? Whoop! Found them. There you go. <clears throat> and... Oh, right. A cauldron would help for cooking purposes. Of course.
There we go. We use Lidded Cauldron right there. Um, I guess we're going to do a work surface kind of thing. Otherwise, <laughs> there's not a whole lot I can do here. So let's do, uh, I guess, just recreate uh, or just stack the tavern floor uh, at one by one tavern floor tile. Yeah, there we go. Let's throw that right there. There we go. <clears throat> and I uh, guess we'll just dress it up with some food props. Uh, one, one roasted pig, if I can find it. Roast a pig. There he is. Pig roast. Right there. And whatever else I can I can fit on here. Um, <clears throat> most of the other food tiles are straight up full one by one tiles. So not a lot I can add. So I'm just going to add. Uh, I'm going to cheat and add these. Impl implying that they're. Uh, various fruits and vegetables when in fact they're supposed to be cactuses there <laughs> that works all right um yeah i think that's good there's not a whole else a whole lot else i can do here If I want to maintain, I could, if I really wanted to, uh, but I don't think it would be allowed by the uh, castle authorities or the fortress authorities is to uh, cut into the wall a bit for a little bit more space and or storage. Um, I don't think that's, well, that would be allowed at all. So, no, we're not going to do that. <laughs> Uh, well, here, at least, we're going to throw a couple pitchers up here on the bar. If I can find the pitcher tile. Up a little bit more. A little bit more. There it is. Pitcher and the pitcher. Well, and, right, there we go. How about... Now, one thing I wish they had was... Uh, just some flagons of mead. They do have them, but they're part of another tile. Uh, there it is. Pillow study. It's got two flagons of mead, some books, and a pillow. I mean... <laughs> that's a very specific tile. <laughs> um, I don't really think that works for our situation here. Yeah. All right. So I guess we will round this out with a couple of these the way we like to do there and there. <laughs> um, let's see. We got a doorway there. That's fine. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Maybe we do another chair here by this uh, stove. Just for people who just want to sit, sit and warm themselves. Sure. Sure. Let's see. Did I? Okay. One thing we can definitely do right now without any, uh, any aspersions of doubt cast by ourselves upon, upon ourselves by ourselves. <laughs> is lighting. I don't know what I was trying to say there, but what a long short of it, we put lanterns on map. Now we put lanterns on map. It good. There and there and there and there and here and here and how about here? And one right above the bar. And one... Oh, we already have one over there. It's fine. 
and one here. <laughs> I was going to put it on the stairs, but that will block the stairs, so we don't want to do that. Um, and we also want to flip this. There we go. Um, I think that's okay lighting for the stairs. Sort of. Sort of, kind of. Um, hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's fine. Uh, let's do this. And we'll do these sort of ooh, haphazard pillow piles here and here. Like they are sacks of, I don't know, dry goods that you can uh, get, like dried meats. Uh, maybe, maybe he sells rations on the side. Let's throw some of those down. Um, maybe one over here. Whoa. 